The night crew begins its 12-hour shift on an oil rig operated by DHS Drilling Company along the Wyoming-Nebraska border. This is vertical drilling. The typical method for bringing up oil from thousands of feet below the surface. But this area of the Niobrara Chalk Basin may soon see investment in a different type of drilling intended to tap into oil that's trapped closer to the surface. It works like this. Workers drill vertically until they reach the zone of interest. They then gradually drill to a 90 degree angle. Cement casing is then installed. Small fractures are created. Next, sand and water are injected into the fractures. This props open the fractures, allowing oil or gas to flow into the well bore. This conventional vertical oil rig sits on top of farmer and rancher Charles Anderson's land. He and his son farm in Nebraska and Wyoming. They have pumps on either side of the state line. I got my call when I was on a combine from the guy, and, and uh, the one thing I do appreciate about uh, Mike Davis and his uh, 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 company, or this one from Tulsa, or the one that's drilling over here right now, is you talk to the owner of the company. You don't talk to the peons, somebody that can promise you the world and deliver nothing. If you talk to the owner, I find out generally what they tell you they're going to do. But Anderson says besides the surface damage payments, he's not making much money off the drilling. Sure, the commodities have went up in the last few years, but everything that you have, your input, like your fuel, or your tractors, your labor, all your costs have went up in accordance, so it's just like you're you're just spinning your wheels. You're not, you're not gaining any. And maybe with the oil, even if it's a little amount, would help take some of the pressure off of the people. Anderson says one of the oil companies has told him it plans to do horizontal drilling underneath his land. State-owned mineral rights in Nebraska are auctioned off through leases every year, and the most recent one was pretty noteworthy. It raised almost $2 million. The very last lease sale that was held in Nebraska by virtue of this activity in Colorado and Wyoming, I believe that our Board of Educational Lands and Funds had the largest pot of money raised for over 30 years. Among these windy plains of central Banner County is its only town, Harrisburg. The town didn't have too many visitors until last year. What you're interested in is oil and gas. Banner and County Clerk Lori Hostetler shows here. what attracted the spike and, in visitors. Uh, just to give you an idea of the amount of recording that took place last year, um, book, uh, book 127, we started off in like page 380 is where the first one was recorded in January of 2010. Um, and now we have <laughs> book 135, which is getting close to being full. Since November, they had to bring in an extra table, another copy machine, and computer just to accommodate an influx in oil company workers. They were there researching mineral rights in the county. But the promise in Nebraska's shale basin may not pan out. Just 20 miles south of Harrisburg is Kimball, Nebraska, between the 1950s and 80s, oil exploration and production made Kimball a boomtown. Now there's only a couple companies headquartered in Kimball. Evertson Companies is one of them. They have drilling rigs all over the world. I don't think it's here. The formation is definitely here. But, you know, since I was a kid, we drilled through it hundreds and hundreds of times. And in this particular area, I never saw anything that, that looked uh, productive going through the Niobrara here. Evertson says he's looking deeper in the panhandle, drilling vertical wells. You have a lot of people spending a lot of money in the panhandle of Nebraska thinking that I'm wrong. So we're going to see who's right. But I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping they're right because they have uh, bought a lot of minerals here, or, or at least a lot of minerals, and they paid a lot of money for them. Regardless of the presence or absence of black gold in the Niobrara shale, there's no idea if or when horizontal drilling may get going in Nebraska. So the economic impact, like the oil exploration itself, is still speculation. As far as getting rich or 
And like I told you before, being a Jed Clampett and stuff, that's just not going to happen. I'm Clay Masters, Harvest Public Media.